Hello co-visualizers, how's our rendering going? This tutorial is requested by one of the subscriber, so shout out to Shuref, which is also our co-member in the FB group, uh, United CG Pinoy and 3D Pinoy Digital Artist. He requested for the making of the Legaspi Residence, which is modeled in 3D Max and rendered in V-Ray. So let's start. Since this 3D project is already modeled and rendered, I may not be going into the detail of it. For the modeling of the walls, just click on the link of my tutorial for importing and preparation of the trace plan and elevation of the house. For modeling of the walls, using plain and editable poly, click also the link for the tutorial for the modeling of walls. And for making a group line on the walls, click the link for the tutorial on how to make a group line on a wall. After modeling the house, the development of the site, then it's time to apply materials on the models. For the walls, these are the settings. For the terracotta wall, dark gray wall and for the white wall For the stone material setting, for the wood materials on the door my glass material setting For the road texture and concrete finish for the ramp and sidewalk
and also for the gate material. After applying the materials, I gather all the entourage I need on the scene. Using resource collector, just click again for the link on my tutorial of using the resource collector to gather all the needed textures in each model I downloaded, either from Arc Models, 3D Sky, and other sources. First, I add the trees and plants, and I add the car. I added some curtains in order to see only a reflection of the glass and also to hide the blank wall inside. And then I add some outdoor uh, fixtures. Add some building in front so in order to that your reflection will be more interesting and also a background building to imitate some neighboring houses. And now it's time to set up my V-Ray physical camera. And this is my setting for my V-Ray physical camera. I just uh, put the value of uh, my film ISO into 100 and the shutter speed is 50. And lastly for the lighting, I use dome light with HDRI and these are my settings. I use two dome light and the other one is for the environment and the other one is for the reflection. The reflection is the one that I will put into my environmental slot for the intensity of the reflection. This is my V-Ray settings. For the image filter, I use area. Color mapping type is a uh, rain hard. And then uh, change the value of the burn value into 0.25. For primary engine is irradiance map. And then secondary is uh, light cache. The ambient occlusion is uh, on and then the value is 0 0.8. 
these are the render elements that I've added for the post production and now let's render And that's it co visualizers don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be able to receive updated tutorials keep safe always okay doc